The Civic Park Bandstand was rockin' on May 10th, as 10 of the area's best local groups came out to compete in an epic battle of the bands. Can't you see that it's just raining? This clash of instruments and genres went on all day as these talented musicians tried to win over the crowds for the grand prize. But concert goers noticed something pretty unique about the shows. Every band was under the age of 21, and the show was created by the Mayor's Youth Advisory Council to give younger music lovers a venue to show off their passion. We're here to celebrate O-Fest. It's our first annual youth music festival, and we're letting the best youth bands in the area compete to win a prize and just put on a great performance for youth in the area that want to listen to some music. The idea is to give the youth musicians that are really kind of left out of major music festivals the opportunity to share their music, to share their craft and their art with all of the community, and they're just amazing. This eclectic mix of guitar shredders and soulful singers had something for everyone in the audience. With 10 sets to experience, it was a full day of listening to some pretty talented musicians playing covers and original songs. Some bands already had a following from the musician schools, but all of the bands closed out their sets to a new group of excited fans. I'm excited to see the Dilemma perform. Me too. They're going to be awesome. Yeah, and they're from our school, and they're two really talented musicians, and it'll be cool to hear them and all that stuff, yeah. You know, I love the local music scene and I love getting to work with artists and so just to see their passion out on the stage and just to be a part of organizing that has just been really fulfilling for me. But music is a universal passion for people and the Mayak O-Fest had a lot to offer to music fans of all ages. You know what, I'm probably the oldest person here today and I like that. I love music, I grew up obviously, I grew up with the Beatles and the, the Stones and stuff and when I heard Mayor's Youth Council was putting this event on, I thought I gotta be here. So I was one of the first ones here at 11 o'clock. These kids are amazing. They don't just kind of pick at it. They're great. So if anybody missed it, don't ever miss it again. You got to come here. It's great. But what battle of the bands would be complete without an actual prize at stake? All 10 bands were amazing. And after the last guitar lick faded out, the crowd had a difficult time choosing a winner for the grand prize, sponsored by Jupiter Studios. And now, the grand prize of $500 and 10 hours of free studio time at Jupiter Studios in downtown St. Louis. Free parking! <laughs> Fest was also sponsored by Mozingo Music, and the prize donated by Jupiter Studios will have a massive impact on festival winners, free parking. Ofest was an awesome day-long concert series, and it's something fans would like to see return year after year. It's a cool way for a bunch of the community to come together and listen to youth bands perform and get their talent out there. And hopefully it can become like a big thing for next year, and like it'll keep going every year. Yeah.